Welcome to um, Economic Perspectives. My name is Peter Warburton. I'm the director of the company, and I'd like to speak uh, today about the outlook for UK inflation. Um, headline UK inflation recently turned negative for the first time um, since the 1950s, and this has attracted a lot of headlines and a lot of speculation around the word deflation. Um, our view is that this is a strictly uh, technical and temporary state of affairs um, and that UK inflationary outlook um, is, is not that different um, to how it has been uh, over much of the last um, sort of 10 or 15 years. Um, we view uh, the UK as inherently an inflationary economy um, and this arises for a number of reasons. Um, I think the main one of these is that um, the size of the public sector has a bias to get larger and, and obviously the UK has one of the most uh, troublesome um, public sector deficits, still around 5% of GDP, um, even six years after the, the epicentre of the financial crisis. Uh, so the UK is really struggling uh, to get its public finances under control um, and budget deficits are one of the key structural um, factors uh, giving you a, a, an inflationary disposition. There are other issues that the UK has, that we are a small open economy, we, we depend um, for um, not only our agricultural goods and our energy and indeed a whole range, a spectrum of manufacturing goods, but which are predominantly supplied from abroad. So basically we are a price taker in, in many markets. A number of factors have held down UK inflation uh, uh, over the, the past uh, couple of years. Notably, uh, clearly the, the recent collapse in oil prices, but before that uh, energy prices had been on a weaker trend. Food prices also uh, have been compressed by uh, two things. Um, couple of years of really strong uh, grain harvests uh, around the world and also a price war um, among the supermarkets which has probably taken about um, between 0.3 and 0.5 percent off the rate of inflation in the, in the UK. Now we see this as, as being strictly temporary developments and already we would expect by the end of the year UK headline inflation to be pushing back um, towards 1 percent um, and then breaking next year well above 2%. Basically, um, what we've seen is a tightening of the UK labour market and uh, unit labour cost inflation uh, rising now um, towards 2% um, and we think may very well rise um, to 3% uh, during the course of next year. So the underlying uh, temporary factors will wash out um, through the second half of this year and we'll, we'll see momentum coming from the labour market and we'll see uh, momentum also coming uh, perhaps from um, food prices as the, um, the price war eventually burns itself out um, and also so we start to see um, some of the outlook for agricultural prices being less favourable um, than, than it is as we have a new um, El Nino and a few other climatic events which will make it difficult to sustain. So in brief, um, we see inflation pushing against an open door in terms of policy. Um, we think the Bank of England's MPC will be perfectly relaxed about a recovery of the inflation rate initially to 2% but um, I think beyond this. Uh, we've already seen uh, the inflation break-evens uh, derived from the UK fixed interest market uh, picking up and uh, I think there is uh, further scope for break-evens to rise. So in short, the UK is not slipping down into some um, deflationary spiral, but rather this is a, a temporary phase based on favourable supply uh, outcomes. Um, it is unwinding, we expect inflation to recover to 2% and beyond over the next two years.